guys, welcome to Xenomatics. Uh, welcome to our series of daily dose of mathematics where we're going to do one hard question a day for till your exam days. So let's start uh, with today's question. Today's question is from paper three, A-levels logarithms. And this is a question that has been frequently seen in the past papers. Uh, recently, we saw this in June 2019. And there are basically two main approaches of handling this question. Both are correct. And I'll show you both of them in this video. But as always, I will ask you guys to pause the video after seeing the question. Try it once before seeing the solution. That way we train our brain to think in a logical manner. And through our mistakes, we learn. And later on, see the solution, of course. So let's start with the question. I'll show you the question. OK, so the question is uh, 5 raised to the power of 3 minus 2x is equivalent to 4 times 7 raised to the power x. And what we have to do over here is we have to solve for the value of x. And there are mainly two approaches. One is where we immediately go into indices and uh, solve for uh, this equation and later on move into logarithms. The second one is where we start with the logarithms in the beginning and then keep solving the question in a logarithmic fashion. So I will ask you guys to pause this video and try it yourself first and then have a look at the solution. So for those of you who have tried it and have been successful, congratulations. And for those of you who are having a trouble with this, let's have a look at the solution of this question. So let's begin. Uh, the first approach that I'm going to discuss is using the logarithms right away. So I'm going to introduce a logarithm on both sides of this, equ this equation. So what I'm going to do is my equation is 5 raised to power 3 minus 2x is equal to 4 times 7 raised to the power x. I'm going to introduce a logarithm on both sides. You can introduce a common logarithm or you can introduce a natural logarithm. That's up to your choice. I'm introducing a natural logarithm on both sides. So this is a natural logarithm over here. We can use the power rule to bring the power in the beginning. And we will have 3 minus 2x. Whole thing multiplied by log of 5 would give us now, over here, you will have to realize that this power x is not the power for the entire argument, and we cannot bring it forward. So for that, we will have to break it down into two logarithms. So this will be log of 4 plus log of 7 to the power of x. And then later on, we will use power rule to bring this power before this term. Let's multiply, uh, distribute this log of 5 for both of these terms. So this log of 5 will get multiplied to both of these. And we will have 3 log of 5 minus 2x log of 5 will be equal to log of 4 plus x log of 7. And once we reach here, it's just a simple a case of uh, isolating the x terms and making them subject and nothing more than that. So I'm going to take this 2x over there and I'm going to bring this log of 4 to the left hand side. So we can see this will be 3 log of 5 minus log of 4 will be equal to 2x log of 5 plus log of x log of 7. Now I'm going to make take x subject over here x take x common. So this will be 2 log of 5. And we add x log of 7 over here. Uh, I'm sorry, I think I have taken x common. So let's remove x from there. And this will be 2 log 5 plus log of 7. And left hand side would stay as it is, two log, 3 log of 5 minus log of 4. Now to make x subject, let's revise these terms. So x will be equal to 2 log 5, uh, sorry, 3 log 3 log of 5 minus log of 4 divided by, this is 2 log 5 plus log of 7. Then you can use calculator to find the final answer for x. And let's use a calculator 
to plug this whole thing into the calculator, be careful, use brackets while putting a numerators and denominators separately into the calculator. Make sure you do not make a mistake. So this is three log of five minus log of four. Be really careful about the calculator, uh, about the brackets over them divided by brackets open. This is two log of five plus log of seven. So I reckon this would be 0 0.666. So this is the first approach by which we can reach our final answer. Now let's have a look at another approach. And both of them are equivalent to each other. It's just a matter of uh, which chapters to get involved with first. I prefer that you know both of them and then later on decide for yourself which one you feel is better. In method two, we are going to use indices first. So with indices, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to separate the powers first, bring all the powers with x to the one side, and then let, later on solve this. So this would be five raised to power three minus two x, uh, and I will later break it down to five raised to power three over five raised to power two x. So this is the breakdown of this term. And what I'm going to do with this is, I'm going to further simplify it to five cube over five squared raised to power x. So further simplifying it down would make it 125 upon 25 to the power of x. And this is now my left hand side in that equation. Now, my left hand side has become 125 over 25 raised to the power x, whereas my right hand side is four times seven raised to power x. Now, bringing all the x terms to one side and non-x terms to the other side. So this would be 125 of one four, and this would be seven to the power of x times 25 to the power of x. And now if we take x common over here, so this would be 125 upon four would be, let's take x common. So we can multiply seven and 25, that would be 175 over here. Now let's introduce log on both sides. So if we have 125 upon four, and we have 175, to the power of x. Now, this is the point where we introduce logarithm now. So introduce log, use power rule to bring this x forward, and now make x object in the next step. So log of 125 of 14 will be equal to x times log of 175. Now, making x object is very really easy now. So this is log of 125 of 14 over log of 175. And now if we use calculator for this, it should give us the final answer, uh, same. So this is 125 over four. Be careful with the brackets. Again, log of 175. So this will also give us 0 0.666. You guys can see both of the workings take almost the same amount of space. It's just a different idea, but they take both, both of these approaches take the same amount of space, same amount of time. It is to your personal preference which one you want to use. And what I want you guys to do is to get really fluent with both of these ideas before you decide which one to use. I hope you really liked the video and I hope it has helped you to understand this question. If you have liked this video, please share it with your friends. And if you have any requests, any comments, any improvements, please leave us a comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.